What's going on YouTube? Pope Eddie here with you and you are watching another edition of Not Your Average Vape Review. We have a great show ahead for you including Dead President's e-liquid, a couple different lines from Einstein Labs right here in Michigan, and I might give you my opinion on the SX Mini G-Class as well. We're going to start off with Dead Presidents though because they're on top of the pile. Um, let me get these out of the way here for you. These were given to me for purpose of review, which will not change how I feel about them. I'm going to give you guys a completely honest review on Dead Presidents, who also included one of their cards with their flavor menu on it. They also included, uh, for my son, because they didn't have fat boy size, a Dead Presidents e-liquid shirt. That was the back. This is the front. Pretty dope stuff. So now I can finally give it to my kid. And they included, which I haven't taken out of the bag yet, and I'm going to show this to you guys right here live. It's been folded up this way the entire time. A Dead President's e-liquid flag, along with a button here that says, of course, Dead President's e-liquid. So let's pop that out real quick and show you how cool this is. This is an actual flag, like the material and all, guys. It's made really well. Um, I'm assuming they give these to stores most of the time in order for them to hang it up where their product is. But... Uh, super cool looking flag here from Dead Presidents E-Liquid. So thank you to Tim Wirtz for getting this stuff sent out to me and it has the six presidents on here that are available on their website. I can tell you guys there's a seventh president. I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you any more than that so I'm going to skip that for now only because I'm not sure if they've actually released this flavor or not. What I can tell you is a good friend of mine got this from me and requested some more. So keep an eye out for this one when you get a chance. But in front of me I will read off the card for you guys and let you know what is in these six bottles. Well what used to be in these six bottles, uh, they're gone except for one or two that have a little bit left in them. Uh, this stuff was absolutely great juice guys. Okay they're not going to stand up, the hell with it. Um, we have Roosevelt which is a mouth-watering mouth -watering watermelon strawberry hard candy. We have Jefferson, which is your favorite fruit cereal crispy treat. That was one of my favorites. Washington is a blue raspberry cotton candy with a hint of puckering sour. Lincoln is a creamy blend of melons and luscious berries. Jackson is fresh baked blueberry muffin. And Adams is a triple blend of succulent melons. Out of all these guys, I can tell you I like Jefferson the best. That was the fruit cereal crispy treat. Uh, they do have a sweet taste to them. I don't know if they actually use sweetener in their juice or not, but... It wasn't a super bad coil kill or anything like that, so I'm assuming if they do use it, it's only a small amount, which is super good. Um, all of the flavors were exactly what they said. Uh, the mouth-watering watermelon strawberry hard candy was really good. For those of you that are looking for that candy kind of flavor, that's going to be a good one. That's called Roosevelt. And overall, uh, Cloud Production's good on these. Flavor is great. I don't even know the price, honestly, they were sent to me, so I can't give you that information either. But I can tell you, if they're in the normal price range, guys, pick some up because it's absolutely good liquid. Uh, Dead Presidents e-liquid, again, thank you to Tim Wirtz for sending this over for purpose of review. Um, I can't do any more of a lengthy review on that because of the camera lens. So hopefully we'll get a new camera lens in here soon, guys. Um, but until I do, we're going to have to be patient, okay? So let me move some of these Dead Presidents boxes off of the table and uh, move on to our next company. Now this company sent me these quite a long time ago, guys. And when I say quite a long time, I'm talking like March 23rd showing up on the, on the shipper here. Um, so that's my bad. It's been very difficult to get around to shooting. Uh, I just showed some of my friends here on Vape Nation who are watching on this little phone how much stuff is set up and how difficult it actually is to get set up to do a shoot like this. Uh, any of you fellow YouTubers, I'm sure you understand. Backdrops, lighting, cameras, monitors, different stuff. It gets to be a pain in the ass. Um, but what I have here, guys, I was sent all flavors from three lines from Einstein Vapors. That's E-I-N-S-T-E-I-N-V-A-P-E-R-Z.com. EVC Labs and Vapor Lounge and all Vape Escapes carry this here in Michigan, guys. So... I was given the SVB line, which is a premium vape juice. Change is is Sour Rainbow Candy. Amnesty is Sour Little Kids. The Illustrator is Buttercream Candy. Scissor is a grape... Oh, I can't read it. Grape Citrus Drink. 
And they're all pictured here as well from EVC Labs and Vapor Lounge. Michael Mead sent these to me for review again back in March. So sorry, dude, but finally got to it. Um, with these flavors, guys, I can tell you that the sour flavors are some of the most sour I've ever had, and they're still within the window of I didn't want to puke when I vaped them, so they're not overly sour is the point. Um, Amnesty and Changes were both delicious. If you like any type of... Grape soda. Scissor is amazing. And the illustrator is just like a Werther's original, so that's definitely a great lineup altogether. SVB premium vape juice. I was also given Zug Island Smog Sauce, also made by EVC Labs. Mac Avenue, this flavor carries all the clouds and doesn't lack the flavor. A refreshing blend of Michigan apples and sweet strawberries made with real fruit extracts. 95% VG on this one. Great flavor, a little harsh. I have a sensitive throat when it comes to fruit flavoring, so it may not be bad for you. For me, it was a tiny bit harsh. Nothing I couldn't vape through. I, I got through most of it. Most of these bottles in here, guys, are empty. Um, here's Jefferson Avenue, which is the next one I'm going to tell you about. That's completely empty. Uh, here is Changes. There's half a bottle left. I mean, I, I've vaped 90% of the juice in here, guys. Jefferson Avenue, 98% VG. This flavor carries all the clouds and doesn't lack the flavor. Chew, square, and pink. This candy-inspired e-juice is as good as the candy itself, made with real fruit extracts. Also, another amazing flavor. Strawberry, uh, what do they call those? The little square ones. Starburst. Strawberry Starburst. That's what it was. And Dearborn Avenue, guys. Uh, again, 95% VG. Refreshing blend of Baja-inspired e-juice. No need to make a run for the border when you we got you covered. Made with real fruit extracts. Now... This is 95% VG, and again, guys, I have a bit of a sensitive throat. When I was vaping Dearborn Avenue, which is Baja Blast, it really bothered me, but I've never found a Baja Blast that didn't bother me. So with that said, if you're able to vape Baja Blast, grab yourself some of that. You're going to love it. The flavor was spot on, but it did hurt my throat personally. And again, I think I'm just allergic to something in the Baja Blast flavorings. Fat Rabbit Juice Company, Chase the Rabbit, also made here in Michigan at EVC Lab and Vape Lounge. Blueberry Crisp, a nice warm crisp dessert filled with fresh blueberries. Sweet Cream Snickerdoodle, a smooth, wonderful blend of sweet creams with snickerdoodle on the exhale. And Raspberry Crisp, a nice warm crisp dessert filled with fresh raspberries. These are some of the most spot-on berries I've had in a juice, guys. The Blueberry Crisp and the Raspberry Crisp, absolutely phenomenal. The Sweet Cream Snickerdoodle was very, very good. I guess I have nothing really bad to say about any of them. Um, that was my least favorite of the three, was the, the Sweet Cream Snickerdoodle, but all of them were amazing. Um, so if you guys get a chance, you're in Michigan, or you want to check out Einstein Vapes with a Z, E-I-N-S-T-E-I-N-V-A-P-E-Z.com, give these guys a shot. Uh, again, I don't know pricing because these were sent to me by Mike Mead, and it was March 23rd. So give them a shot. Good juice. Uh, great guy. Mike will take good care of you. I know his, his lab is extremely high quality, and the product coming out of it is high quality as well. So give those guys a look if you get a chance, all right? And if you're in Michigan, go check out his shop also. They do make some great stuff over there at Einstein Vapes. SX Mini G Class, we're going to give a real quick review on this, because I'm not sure how much time is left on the timer, but I'm sure it's getting close, okay? This is a 200 watt mod, guys. Around 204 to 239 dollars is what I've seen it for online. I ordered mine from VapeRoyalty.com. Very, very happy with the product. Very happy with the response time in getting the product. Um, finally got it updated last night and was able to get my Steelers logo added, which you won't be able to see from way out there. But the Steelers logo got added on here. Um, I'm running it at 100 watts. I get great battery life out of this thing. The only problem I have with this mod, guys, is the door is super, super, super hard to close like the first 10 times. And then it does get better after that. So um, I'm just going to say, if you are at all weak, please be careful buying this mod because you're not going to be able to get this thing shut. I was literally holding on my chest with two hands and then sliding my finger over to get the door shut. It was that difficult the first eight to 10 times. Uh, it does perform well. It fits a 30 millimeter all day, every day, no problem. This is one of the limited edition Kevlar's in black, so uh, pretty sharp looking and comfortable in the hand. 
I'm happy with it. That's about all I got for it. We'll give it a little cloud here for you. Running a Mod Father, 0.28 ohms. Again, at 100 watts. These are staggered fuse Claptons. Check out Calm Coils, K A L M, on Instagram or find Kirk Anthony Lawrence Medecki on Facebook. He is a approved vendor of the group Vape Nation, which again are these guys watching over here. That's why you see a phone. They're watching me shoot live and hanging out here with me. So give that guy a try. Check out Dead Presidents E Liquid and check out Einstein Vapes with a Z.com. Until next time, guys, this is Pope Eddie. We're going to cloud you out. You have a wonderful day. And vape on.